Alcaptinuria, also sometimes called ochronosis. Very uncommon disease, but definitely testable on boards and on exams. Alcaptinuria is an autosomal recessive disease. It's usually benign, and it has to do with a problem in the degradative pathway of tyrosine to fumarate. So just for review, tyrosine being converted to fumarate, I'm not even going to put these into words right here. What's important for the student to know is that alcaptonuria has to do with a deficiency in homogentosate oxidase. That's what's high yield. That's homogentosate oxidase. I can't stress that enough. There's a problem converting this into this. So this pathway is blocked. Because homogentisic acid can't be converted over here, this will build up. Homogentisic acid will increase. So because homogentisic acid is building up, it's accumulating in our tissue, and homogentisic acid actually has the ability to form pigment. And that explains some of the clinical characteristics that are seen with this disease. For example, the connective tissue will turn a darkish color, so dark connective tissue. The sclera, which is the white outer layer of the eyeball, turns a, a brownish color, brown pigmented sclera. And the urine turns black on prolonged exposure to air. So black urine with exposure to air for prolonged periods of time definitely comes up in clinical vignettes. Now, the last thing I do want to mention is the homogentisic acid is toxic to cartilage and the joints. So as it builds up, it's going to be damaging uh, these things. So a patient with alcaptonuria can have arthritis and really, really bad um, arthralgias in the adult life. That's all I have to say about alcaptonuria. Remember, it's a problem with tyrosine being converted to fumarate. The specific problem is high yield for the student to know is that it's a deficiency of homogentisate oxidase. So homogentisic acid builds up in the patient. It can accumulate in tissue, forming pigment, leading to all of these clinical problems. Dark connective tissue, brown sclera, black urine on exposure to air for a long period of time, and the adult life, arthritis and arthralgias. Alcaptonuria, definitely tested, definitely something the medical student needs to know.